the significance of the debate format, and the stipulations set by Joe Biden. Today, President Biden challenged former President Trump to two debates, and Trump accepted. Yeah, Trump agreed to the debate. He said, I'll be there assuming it's okay with my parole officer. (laughs) The first debate will be next month, which is the earliest presidential debate has ever been. And if we're being honest, an early bird debate feels right for these guys. Yeah, Biden and Trump will meet June 27th on CNN. And one of Biden's debate conditions was not having an audience. So that explains why it's on CNN. Another condition from Biden is that he wants microphones that automatically cut off when a candidate hits their time limit, which will work right up until Trump walks over to Biden's podium. And that's why, as it was saying over there, more wall. Okay, thank you. Yep, microphones that automatically cut off. Biden got the idea after his last press conference when his staff was like, we need a microphone that automatically cuts off. (laughs) Biden and Trump also accepted an invitation from ABC to debate on September 10th. And the winner will have the option of being president or the next Golden Bachelor. So that's a tough call. Look at this. Biden actually made the debate challenge to Trump in a video that he posted. Take a look at this video. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. Biden's talking smack. Usually an 81-year-old doesn't get this riled up unless you park in front of their house. Like, oh, you listen to me. Get out of the line. Oh, do it twice. <laughs> Thank goodness he had subtitles, right? I got twice. <laughs> Meanwhile, yesterday during Trump's trial, his lawyer grilled Michael Cohen on how he called tradition holds weight, and lacking an audience can seem like a break from the vibrant, direct exchanges between candidates and the public. The audience's role is crucial as it ensures candidates are accountable and subject to real-time public scrutiny. Jimmy Fallon's remark about Joe Biden's debate conditions, humorously suggesting there be no audience and that Biden loses his microphone, serves as a critique of what might be seen as overly cautious measures. These conditions might be perceived by the public as a way to shield Biden from possible vulnerabilities, while the public itself might favor a more open and spontaneous debate format. Analyzing the debate conditions and the wide social reaction to Fallon's satire reveals the public's desire for transparency in each candidate's stance on key issues and their appreciation for the drama and unpredictability of live broadcasts. Fallon's jokes underscore the tension between the need for control and the public's expectations for a candid and dynamic debate. This suggests the public is keen on observing how each candidate navigates the balance between a controlled setting and genuine self-expression. The commentary and references to Biden's debate challenge against Donald Trump reflect societal concerns about a candidate's vigor and capability. It can be argued that the public's interest extends beyond policy to include a candidate's personality and physical stamina, seeking reassurance in their leadership abilities.